Hey guys, another update. I know my hair is trashed. It's been hot today. Got hat hair big time. But we made it to Oklahoma. I can't remember the name of the town. I don't know. Got to a hotel. My woman's still got her lunch money from the third grade. So, you know, we've, we've tried to save some money on the trip. We've done very well. This last hotel room, we got inside. The cover's missing for this huge air conditioning unit. The bathroom door won't close. They're right in the middle of a remodel in the bathroom. Or in the room. Had the potential to be a beautiful room. Beautiful. Not even close. Then we got a couple prostitutes move in next door. That was it. My wife was done. They were cool about it. They gave me my money back. But wow, what an experience. So we ended up at a really nice hotel. Super clean. <laughs> a shower head that I won't have to bend down to take a shower. How cool is that? But yeah, today was interesting. I let her drive all day. She did good. She went looking for a cemetery. She kind of kind of likes that old school history stuff. We drove for hours on dirt roads trying to find this stupid cemetery. Never did find it. But uh, Oklahoma, not bad as far as masks go. They've been pretty, pretty open, pretty good. I understand they're still making the kids wear masks in school, which is infuriating. So, but anyways, uh, that was my excitement for the night. Call it nowhere, I think. Yeah, yeah, right there. He's a pretty cool guy. Still, still a Trump fan though. Can't, I can't get these people off the Trump train, man. A lot of this stuff has happened because of him. National emergency. Taking guns before due process. Um, what else did he do? He did do a couple good things. That pharmacy bill, great. Apparently, I didn't I didn't know about this, but he hardened our electric grid against EMP attacks. That's why there's been brand new substations put up everywhere. Brand new poles, brand new, brand new substations, all that stuff. So he did do a couple good things, but he screwed a lot of stuff up. This COVID thing is one of them. He screwed it up. He screwed us. He played us. There's no, there's no way, no way around that one. Doing the national emergency, letting big pharma get away with no consequences in this experimental roll up your sleever you know he's in on it he's in on it he's still pushing it so yeah get off the Trump train guys the only way to be free is no government and that's fact <laughs> so anyways nightcap last smoke of the night just a little update about Oklahoma. It was not, the dirt roads are cool, but most of Oklahoma has pretty much sucked. Kind of like New Mexico. New Mexico at least has some scenery. Oklahoma's been flat as a rock, or excuse me, flat as a tabletop. But, uh, um, bunch of people are going over to LBRY, man. 
I've got a channel there. I know Stay Grounded is over there now. Uh, Restore the Republic was supposed to go. I don't know if he ever did. I haven't heard anything. Never Lose Truth. Digital, digital Dollar Vigilante. Carrie Wheeler. Max Egan, the Crow House. A lot of these people are over there, man. They pay you cryptocurrency to watch videos on LBRY. You get paid to watch videos. If you put videos up, you get paid. I don't know. It should be taken off. I'm thinking about buying some of their cryptocurrencies for my wallet. It's like, I want to say it's less than a penny of, of share right now. Well, if you, let's see, if you buy, if you spend $300, you get 33,000 LBRY crypto coins for your wallet. That thing takes off, man. It's going to be big. I haven't done it yet because I'm on vacation. I'm trying to save as much money as I can on this trip. The trip I didn't want to go on just because I knew it was going to be expensive. I've loved it, man. I'm glad I went. I'm glad I didn't fight about it. You know, you pick your battles. It's been a good trip, man. And I needed it, you know? Get away from work and customers and well now I've got some really good employees so I got some well I got two great crews <coughs> takes a takes a load off my mind although right now I'm way way behind on sighting and service calls damn I took my work phone with me it's been blowing up the whole trip <laughs> old repairs customers wanting to know when their, when their new job's going to start but that crap don't start again until next Tuesday that's good news anyways praying for y'all praying for the world peace <laughs>